What is up YouTube, it's Inferno, so this is gonna be the best guide to unlocking Plague Diamond Knives in Cold War Zombies. You know me guys, I cut all the BS, I'm gonna get straight into the guide just really quick. If you do enjoy this video or if it does help you, please consider subscribing. It, it means a lot to me and puts my name out there, so yeah guys, let's get into the video. So before we start the guide, some prerequisites for this include Ring of Fire Tier 3 or either Shroud Tier 3. So both of them work, but I do recommend using Ring of Fire Tier 3. It does help me and it's what I use in the video. But it's completely up to you whichever one you want to use. I also do recommend having a fully leveled up knife because this will make it much easier to get all the camos instead of grinding for them. So, so if you don't have a maxed out level knife, then I do recommend just playing zombies and leveling up your knife that that way because it is pretty hard to level up your knife in multiplayer but if you do only play multiplayer then I do recommend playing the Nuketown playlist because you can level up your knife much easier there too. You'll also need tier 3 melee weapons. While optional I do recommend having stamina up tier 3, quick revive tier 2 and juggernaut through tier 3. Now we're going to be starting off with the infection camo which requires you to get 20 or more consecutive kills with your weapon without getting hit 10 times. So the reason we're starting with this is because it's way easier to not get hit in the earlier rounds and it's way easier to go on these kill streaks. So you want to keep killing zombies ensuring that you aren't getting hit until about the 5th round where zombies do become faster and more aggressive so it's going to make it much harder from there. Once you reach the end of round 5, now you want to go turn on the power just so we can get as many megatons to spawn in because we are aiming to get 3 or 4 per game just to get rid of that challenge as soon as possible because this guide is about getting Plague Diamond in 3 games and we need 10 megaton kills with the knife. So you want to go the route I take to turn on the power and to turn on the 2 terminals just so we can get enough megatons to spawn in this game. If you ever feel low on points, you can go up to any of the perk machines and prone and you will get an extra 100 points. When you get the two terminals to spawn in, you just want to go jump in the dark either and you want to build the Pack-a-Punch machine. Once you get Pack-a-Punch built, you want to go back to the yard or you can go on top of Noct just so you can kill all the dogs. If you are having trouble with this, I do suggest buying a Hauer or any wall gun just to kill the dogs. Once you kill all the dogs and get to round 7, the Megaton will spawn in. So if you turn on the power on round 5, then the Megaton will 100% spawn in on round 7. So first you want to kill all the zombies but one zombie and the Megaton. And if you are having trouble killing the Megaton, you can buy Juggernog or Quick Revive. But you probably won't need it because you will have your Ring of Fire ready or your Dark Either ready. Now once you kill all zombies but one and the megaton, you want to go up to the megaton, use your ring of fire and start hitting your megaton with your knife. You can also do this with the either shroud but it's completely up to you and your preference. Now once you kill the megaton, you just want to kill all the zombies again, go up to the end of round 9, leave one zombie at round 9 and then you want to go buy all your perks you need. The three main perks you will need are a speed cola, Quick Revive and Juggernaut so you will probably have enough points to get them. And you also want to pack a punch your knife. This is highly recommended that you do this before round 10 because you also need 750 pack a punch kills in zombies to get the plague diamond camo. Once you get all the perks you need and kill the last zombie, you just want to come over to the pond and you want to jump on the back of this truck. Using this strategy, all the zombies are going to come at you in this one direction. You can get easy kills with this and easy pack-a-punch kills with this. And you can also get the infection camo by getting 20 consecutive kills by doing this because the zombies will not hit you most of the time. At round 11, you're most likely going to get another dog round, so I do recommend buying the Gallo and going on top of Noct so the dogs run at you in one spot. Round 12 we're going to be getting another Megaton. We do need 3 to 4 Megatons per game which is great because we are going to get another one by the end of this game. But again you can use the Ring of Fire to kill the Megaton with your knife or you can get your Megaton weak with your Gallo or Hauer and then you can knife the Megaton to kill it. Once you kill the Megaton that will be your second Megaton killed out of the 10 you need so this is great for us. Again, this is only possible because we turned on the power at round 5, so, so you want to turn on the power as quick as possible just so you can get as many Megatons to spawn in. I also recommend pack-a-punching your shotgun if you have the points to do so, just because it gets harder to kill Megatons with it, so this is going to make it much easier. 
you should be on round 13 when that's all done so again you just want to kill all these zombies working on your pack-a-punch kills your stun kills your rapid kills and your consecutive kills i will be showing you how to get brush stroke and vintage later in the video but that's pretty much all you want to work on for the next two rounds so round 15 you should have another megaton spawn in i didn't for some reason but that's fine because i could just go to round 16 unfortunately i didn't because i didn't have the time but most of you guys can just go to round 16 because another megaton will 100 percent spawn in that round now if a megaton spawned in for you guys on round 15 you want to kill that and the next round you guys should exfil because it's pretty much pointless playing after that once you exfil or leave the game after round 17 after killing your megaton you should have around 400 eliminations with about 100 to 150 of them being without a pack-a-punch knife and the rest being with the pack-a-punch knife. Now this is extremely helpful in getting Plague Diamond for this knife in 3 games because we did one third of the knife kills right there. Now what I just showed you there, how my whole game went, that's exactly how you should play out your game because you will get the max amount of Megaton spawning in, it'll be the easiest way to get Plague Diamond. Now I'm going to be talking about how to get the individual camos that are harder to get. You can implement these strategies in your game while you're playing. The Liquid Camo. I recommend doing these camos with a stun grenade instead of a decoy just because of how much harder it is to get a decoy. Here I'll be showing you how I got all my stun kills done. My favorite area to do this is in the starting area because of how easy it is to train the zombies. So pretty much you just want to train all the zombies into one big circle and all you want to do is throw, move a little bit back and you want to throw a stun into the circle and you can get about 10 kills just by doing this. Stuns are also fairly inexpensive to buy, especially on the later rounds with the amount of salvage you get. You can easily do this in one game just by doing the method I showed you. Vintage Camo. It requires you to get 15 kills with the knife against enemies who are affected by Frost Blast or Ring of Fire while you have the Aether Shroud active. So it is a little confusing because you can't have two field upgrades at once, but all you need is just any of those field upgrades active and you just want to kill a zombie with it. The best method of doing this is having the Frost Blast and you want to do the Unlimited Frost Blast glitch by charging up two frost blasts so you will need to have your frost blast upgraded to tier 2 or 3 i'm not too sure and all you want to do is use your frost blast kill a zombie and then you're going to get your frost blast bass back and then you just want to keep doing that fauna camo get 10 elite eliminations with the knife again you just want to look at the strategy i just showed you back then and all you want to do is just get three to four megatons per game and kill them you can get this in three games topography camo get 10 kills rapidly 10 times with the knife you should be getting this in one game but if you don't you can just use a frost blast or the ring of fire to easily get those infection camo get 20 or more consecutive kills with the knife without getting hit 10 times like I said at the start of the video, you just want to kill zombies without getting hit until about round 5 and then if you are having trouble with this, you can just keep restarting the game to do this. You can get this in a few games. And that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys have Plague Diamond in 3 games with this method. If you don't, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions or concerns. I will be helping all you guys out. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you did watch until the end, comment down Plague Diamond and I will be liking all your comments. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like because this video did take me a long time to do. But yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Inferno out. Peace. Also, if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be posting more for other